imagine a person, imagine this, who has suffered a heavy loss, a colossal loss. Imagine a person who has suffered the loss of wealth, loss of money, loss of gold, loss of property, loss of diamond. And you know what he is doing? Imagine he is going out with his friends, partying all night, squandering his money recklessly and carelessly, dancing, singing, playing music. How would you rate that person? Wise or stupid? stupid. Normal or abnormal? abnormal? Now imagine, think about yourself. At the end of this year, on 31st December, I, you, you too, you also, you back there, we all are going to suffer a great loss. You know what's that loss? 365 days, 12 months, 52 weeks, 8,760 hours, 5,25,600 minutes, 31,53,600 seconds. This is a colossal loss, isn't it? This is a heavy damage. Now, what about that person who goes out on 31st December and celebrates the, the eve of New Year and sends text messages to his or her, her friends by, and, say, and, and, and says, Happy New Year to you. Is this person a wise person? Is this person a wise person? Look at my hand. What's this? What do you see here? This is a handful of sand. Believe me, our days are numbered here. Time, our life is like a handful of sand. The, the more you hold on to it, the more you grasp it, the faster it runs through your fingers. This is the example of time, such as time. Our days are numbered. That's why every day before going to bed, we must assess ourselves, we must evaluate ourselves, we must ask ourselves, how did I spend my day today? With whom did I spend my, today, my, my day? Should I have been there with that person? Should I have been there at that place? Every day before going to bed, I must ask myself this question. You must ask this question to yourself, or at least at the end of the year, each year, we must ask ourselves at the end of the year, am I the same person that I was a year before? Or have I improved a bit? We must ask ourselves, you must ask ourselves, have I improved knowledge-wise? Have I improved skill-wise? Have I improved character-wise? Have I improved discipline-wise? I must ask myself, you must ask yourself, we all must ask ourselves, am I a better student this year? Am I a better son of my parents? Am I a better brother, a better sister? Am I a better friend? Am I a better teacher, a better coordinator, a better student or not? If the answer comes in yes from within yourself, then I must congratulate you. Congratulations. You have accomplished great things. You, this is real success. This is real success. At the end of this year, ask this question to yourself. If the answer is yes, then this year, 2023 belongs to you. And, 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 if the answer comes in no, then I must say, my condolences are with you. I sympathize with you because you have suffered a great loss. You have suffered such a loss, irreparable loss. Nobody will repair it. Time once gone, it cannot be regained. Do you agree with this with me? Now my dear future doctors and future engineers, 
You have already set your path. You have already set your goals. What's your goal? You, at the end of a year or two years, you will be aiming to secure a seat in a reputed medical college or a reputed engineering college. Isn't it? But you must believe in your dreams and your goals. In 1996, 1996, a teacher with a black skin was teaching a class in the United States of America and the student raised his hand and asked, Sir, may I ask a question? The teacher replied, of course, you can ask a question, get up. The student asked, Teacher, you keep asking us, you keep insisting us that we all must have dreams. Teacher, what's your dream? What's your dream? The teacher looked at the boy and answered, My boy, I want to be the President of United States of America. My dream is to become the President of United States of America. Listening to this, hearing this, everybody in the hall started laughing and jeering at teacher, taunting him. Teacher, with a black skin, dreaming of becoming the president of the United States of America? How come? But you know what happened? In 2009, just a couple of years later, the same teacher with a black skin becomes the president of America, not just once, twice, twice. And when he becomes the president for the first time, he points his finger towards the sky and says, impossible is nothing. Impossible is nothing. And you know who that person was? Barack Obama. Barack Obama. Barack Obama. That's why your dreams must have power. You must be really passionate about your dreams. I'm closing it. I will not take much of your time. I'm going to share a golden principle with you, a golden principle of success, a golden principle which will help you, that will help you to live a successful life. Do you want to know what it is? Golden principle. I have seen people. I experienced it. This is my experience. This is not bookish knowledge. I have seen it. Some might have also seen, you know, seen it, experienced it. I have seen people becoming successful, living a successful life, who develop, look at the board, a habit of sharing. Who develop a habit of contributing towards the society. People who develop the habit of sharing things with others. What do we mean by sharing and contributing? You have got something and you, you take something from it, you take something from it, and you give it to someone who needs it. That's what we call sharing. Now you'll ask me, sir, right now we are studying, we are, we are not earning things, we are not in a business, we don't have a company, we are not, not running a company. We are students. How come we share things? How can we contribute things? The answer is simple. The answer is very simple. Whatever Allah has gifted you, share that. For example, if you have knowledge, share it with others. If you have ideas, share your ideas with others. If you have extra clothes, share your extra clothes with those who are shivering in this freezing winter. I have seen people myself shivering. I am a part of a social health group, Sir knows it, Chua Foundation. I have seen people, little boys, little girls, sitting like this in the corner of their rooms, in the tin shirt and shivering. Share your clothes. Share your boots if you have boots. If you have a good intellect, help others. If you have good physical strength, use your strength and contribute towards, you know, helping people. If you have nothing, now some of you might ask me, sir, I don't have anything. I just have these clothes. I cannot contribute. I cannot contribute money. I cannot contribute this thing, that thing. Sir, how can I contribute things? How can I share things? For those people, for those among you, if you cannot contribute, just kneel down in front of Allah. 
Hold out your hands and shed a tear. Tell Allah, I don't have anything. I am not resourceful. I am contributing by shedding a tear for that person. I am shedding a tear for that cancer patient. I cannot, I cannot ease his burden. I cannot ease his suffering. Oh Allah, take this gift. Take my tear as a gift. Take this as a token of love and ease his burden. That will be your contribution. And believe me, it will make your life a successful life. Last point and I will end up this speech. If I ask you, which brand is your jacket? Many of you will say, sir, it's Adidas, it's Nike, it's North Face, it's this and that. We ask you, which watch, watch you are wearing, you'll say this and that. We ask you, which, which brand is your, is your, is your you, know, you know, shoes, you'll ask, you know, you'll tell me this brand and that brand. So every year, we are very particular about what we wear. We are very concerned about what we eat, but we are not concerned about the life that we are living. Why are we not con you know, concerned about the life, life, your life that you are living? Last point. So let this year be a year of your transformation, of my transformation, of our transformation. With this, I'll take you to leave. May God bless you. Assalamu alaikum.